A super special shout out to my awesome YouTube members and patrons Riptide, Anik D, Matthew Hall, Charlene Kelly, Yishika Bay, Madlow, Lucky Charms, Sam Medina, and Blaubia Cookie for your amazing support. Hey guys, and welcome back to Seven Days to Die Apocalypse Now Mode. So I am a little bit scared of the save. Um, uh, what I mean by that is I was busy upgrading. I actually managed to do the whole thing still over there. Uh, I went to the wasteland to get a few more pieces so I could make another one of the no one of, another one of those anti-rad ones. The problem, however, is while I was upgrading, when I came back to upgrade over there, um, the sound started to bug out again. Where some of the sound, uh, like I upgrade this, instead of hearing a steel sound, you hear a concrete sound, and then a steel sound plays later. Like it was a massive delay. I decided, you know what? It's a little bit of a delay. Let me just keep going. Finish that all up, and yeah, when I decided, you know, okay, I'm done with the steel, I want to start the next episode. Let me just quickly really shut down Steam, start, shut down the game completely, and then do it again. Um, yeah, when I closed down the game, I got an error. Like, it was the the blue screen, uh, in the menu screen, and then the console popped open, and it was just, it's already a synchronization, that's audio. No, but that's the animator. Anyways, um, there was like, uh, the, this popped up was like red errors, and it just kept on scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. You couldn't even close it because it will continuously pop up and keep scrolling. The only reason, uh, the only way to get rid of it was to close down the whole game to restart it. And now, yeah, um, that's not good. So I really hope it's not going to become like a major, major issue. And yeah, okay. Also, we had a Wandering Horde. Uh, at least, yeah, it was just a weak one this time, but we got two points at least. And I'm now able to go for the turret one. Yes. Okay, cool. Now we can actually make ourselves two more ones. If we can make level 100s, that would be awesome, but that's under level 18 and level 20, so that's super far away. The amount of points you need just to get past level 16 is insane. Next up, however, before day 63, I want to get this one, and I want to get at least this one. Or perhaps the cardio, so we can run and not worry about our... Look there. Stamina regen 50% when sprinting. Nice. Okay, so these are not busy with anything. To make advanced turrets, you need what again? Steel, a uh, ton of duct tape. We don't have that much glue. Should probably see if the trader doesn't perhaps have some glue for us. It will give us an excuse to quickly go to the traders if we just get rid of stuff. Um, because at the moment, we do have duct tape. We can make two turrets. But yeah, I need the... Wait, 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 wait. I forgot about, I forgot about these. We are going to need some um, of this, though, for repair kits. The more repair kits we have to make, the more we have to make. But if we can get the glue now without having to go to the trader... Then we can sell later, but... Full. Full. Almost full. So the longer we wait, we're going to have to make another chest just to drop stuff in. Did you see if I can't go to my trader? Sell three of each. Go to other traders, sell three of each. And if there's still stuff left, perhaps go to a third trader. Because we need to get rid of all this stuff. Okay, so for now, I'm going to drop this here. Uh, this needs to go on my other turret, my new one that I'm going to make. And then... How many do we need again? See, the thing is... I'm just going to make three random ones. Technically, I'm supposed to make four just to select the best one out of that. Uh, because the values ch uh, differ. But I'm just going to make three and then that's it. So it's 84, 126. So I need 30 more duct tape. Which means I need some cloth over here. Also, um, I decided instead of digging out... Well, we could because I have an auger as well. Instead of digging out that whole area over there, which you should technically do then you don't have to worry about zombies uh, digging underneath the stairs at all. Um, is to just go and first do the stairs like where it's supposed to be. And then just before they finish, we can make the rest steel. Like the, where the, just underneath the stair and the rest of the floor needs to be steel. We only have 1.1 left. So with all of this over here, I don't think I missed anything, hopefully. All of these over here are now steel. Um, I placed these over here. These now need to be armed. So they need to go th uh, three out. Because the electric fence post is going to be two, or like it's going to be on its side. So there needs to be three, and then they need to go all the way across. But these need to be titanium, actually. Either titanium or high-quality metal to hold all the weight. Technically, I'd want the arms to be on this side as well. But I don't know if we're going to be able to do that or not, because the problem is... Look, I could actually put an electric fence post over here. Or just the wall. I, I put these here so we can actually put electric fence post down. Um, but I think this one's supposed to be the limit. So they're only going to start shocking from there, not here. Technically, I want as soon as the zombies get here, I want them to shock. But with so many zombies that can explode and bosses and stuff, I'm not going to take the chance. Let me just really see if I can't make those turrets. Um, hopefully we have all the other resources required for them. 
So, uh, we need springs. Oh, we don't have springs. We might just, just have enough springs. Okay, cool, awesome. But yeah, we need so many springs and stuff to be able to make more repair kits and more everything we need. Um, it's, it's very grindy in some aspects, but other aspects it's actually very nice. So we're just gonna make three of these quickly. And then as soon as this is done, we'll have three level 80s. The level 80s might not do as much damage as my current level 60s, because like I said, you need to craft a few of them to select the best. But for now, I think that's it. We, we don't have to worry too much about that. Can we make more springs? No. That, that's a shame. If you can actually make more springs, that would actually be awesome. We might want to make these, though, uh, because they're going to make our turrets fire faster. Let me just please go grab these turrets and see uh, what they have in them. Basically, I hope that with the level 80s, we can at least put two more turrets in there. These are both level 61. If I'm not mistaken, sometimes with 71, there's an extra mod slot, and then level 81 as well. It might just skip level 71, and you only get another mod slot at level 61. Look at all the corpses and destruction over here. Damn. As that might just be a horde base. Because I don't know how long, much longer we're going to play. With the, if those errors are really game-breaking, we might have to end the series prematurely. Although, not prematurely, so to, to speak. It's just, instead of building another house on top, and going exploring more, stuff like that, we might have to end the series. And then, um, we'll see if we're going to do even another series on top of that. Because like I said, I'm enjoying this, but I want to do a stream series on Darkest Falls. I want to do a uh, stream series on Oblivion. Uh, if I can replace this mod with like Oblivion and do just a stream series on Darkest Falls or something like that. I need to really go and focus now and see what other mods I can do because I have no idea when... Just do that. I have no idea when um, Alpha 21 is coming out. So I can't afford to pre-record too much or record this and record that and then there's not enough time to finish a series because all of a sudden... Yeah, uh, because all of a sudden it's Alpha 20 and now there's a whole series pre-recorded but I can't release it because it's Alpha 20 and not Alpha 21. Although some people might still go and watch it, so that is awesome, but the amount of views and the amount of effort going into that is not going to be worth it in the end. Okay, so these have what? So they don't, they don't even have the Rodden Spring. So if I can just have those advanced ones, let me see what other advanced mods there are. If we go over here, we go under mods and we just go advanced. Well, these are all advanced. Technically, if we can put this inside, I, I don't know if these are going to be more than drum magazines. Doubles ammo capacity in pistols and snipers. Okay, just pistols and snipers. Is there an advanced drum, perhaps? See, we can just focus on getting all of these advanced ones. Um, I already want to make the advanced ergonomic grip for all my tools and for my sword. And then the NCID, because we should be able to make that as well. CID or NICD. I always say the wrong way. Uh, if we can make this as well for all three turrets and for my sword and for my shotgun, that would be awesome. So, yeah, what do we need for this? Only two. Nice. But we do need a ton of duct tape and we do have that at least. So, let's do that, that, make some duct tape while we wait. That away. Okay, so um, I need to go do more upgrades. I need to go do a little bit more building. If we can at least make sure the stairs are done before day 63, um, then even if the electric fence posts aren't in, at least the stairs will allow the zombies to get up to us. But the whole area next to the stairs needs to be steel as well in case a zombie explodes. Because you guys know, the exploders on me and the demolishers and cops, they don't care where they explode as long as they get to explode. Let me just do this. And then we need two batteries. Ooh, also. Uh, let me just do this. I need to go and wait, one, two, three. Okay, we need five. We need to make five of them because it's one for the sword, one for the shotgun, and then um, three, one each for the robotic turrets. But yeah, I need to make myself an advanced generator as well before I forget because we need to be able to power all the electric fence posts. So that's easy enough to, oh, rather cheap enough to make. I'm actually surprised at how cheap that is, damn. So we grab this, grab this, and we have these. We only need one. I hope we only need the one generator, though. Okay, and then the NICD. How much is that again? Do we have that? We have that. Oh, it's 100 electrical parts per, or mechanical parts. I don't think we have enough mechanical parts. For well, six. No, we don't. Damn. Okay, so I'm going to have to make myself some more... Mechanical parts in these first. That's unfortunate. So if I can make a hundred each of here, I don't need a hundred exactly. 
but I'm going to have to make 100 each of the year. And then I could quickly go to the trader and sell a few things and then just see if I can't buy some from him. Um, I wonder downstairs whether the vending machine actually might have some for us or not. Let me just check. I mean, if I can buy some mechanical parts and I don't have to worry about waiting 18 minutes to be able to craft um, the stuff I need, that's going to be awesome. Okay, uh, first things first. Explosives, thank you. I should techni technically daily, um, when these reset, go to every single one over and over and over again. You need to make a, a habit of just... It, it needs to be routine. The morning, you really go to each one, you see if you can't buy some new stuff, and then voila. Come on, I need mechanical parts. I don't think there are any mechanical parts of here. That's unfortunate. Only some of these actually sell the stuff you need. Sugar butt stay. You. I candy we don't need right now. Herbal healing we don't need. You can only loot the legendary, so there's no chance of accidentally or awesomely <laughs> looting them from one of these or buying them a beer. It's a shame though, if you can actually just have a chance at buying them. Because finding them is so hard. Um, if you can at least buy them, you don't have to worry too much. Okay, so what we now need to do is NICD. What else do we need? Red notes. Okay, I wonder if I shouldn't try and go to the trader and sell at least a few things over here. Um, I'm going to sell them as is, not repaired at all. We might get way more cash if you repair the stuff, but at the moment, we don't have the repair kits for that. So I'm just going to do this. I'm going to do this. Oh, nothing was so... Oh, damn, nothing was locked because I restarted the game. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. If there's a weaker quality over here that is better repaired, I'll sell those instead. For example, this one might actually sell 739. Oh no, this one sells a little bit more. But sometimes the weaker ones, if they're fully repaired, they sell for more than the ones that are not repaired. Even if the ones that are not repaired are way higher level. One, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. I'm just going to grab all of this and I'll see you guys at the trader. Hopefully he has the mechanical parts we need so we can just make what we need right now. And then we need to finish that horde base before day 36. Otherwise we have a major, major problem on our hands. Sell, 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 and sell. Okay, I'm just going to quickly grab a few more things over here and I'll see you guys over there. Okay, I was looking for this thing everywhere since I've actually dropped it in the loot box that I had this stuff to sell. <laughs> I keep doing that for some reason. Okay, let me just see this. Okay, do this, do this. Do you have Grandpa's Awesome Sauce? No. That would be cool to actually sell some of your stuff over here. You okay, so, um, sell, sell, sell. Yeah, okay, we have to sell from left to right because that's how I grab the stuff. I can't afford to sort right now because then everything in my inventory is going to sort. Even the stuff over here that I don't want to sell. I just really hope we get a ton of XP for this as well because the more you sell, the more XP you get as well. At least with the grandpa's awesome or the sugar butts of here, we're gonna get a little bit more cash than we would have gotten. Um now that they're so damaged, because if these were repaired, we get way more cash. So it's making up for the fact that these are not repaired just slightly, not a lot, but just slightly. Enough so we can actually get a little bit of a profit of here and just make sure we get a ton of coin. This technique I should take that off, but I'm too lazy. I put most of I put a ton of stuff in the drone as well, so I need to grab that before we go. Make sure we clear that out. Sometimes I grab stuff to sell, yeah, and then I forget to now. take it out and then get back to the base and I'm like, oh damn, I wanted to sell those. Okay, um, whoa, this is really mixed. I just hope I sell the best ones first. Okay, that you don't want, that you don't want purples first. Technically with these, I should sell the ones that are fully repaired first. That way you know you get the best out of it. 60s. Okay. Uh, that you don't want. That you don't want. Okay, cool. So we have 278,000 on us. What do you have for us that we might actually find worth it? Filler cells we don't need right now. We don't need any more class books. That's so awesome. I can't believe we've finally, finally done. I want to see if there's no more recipes and stuff that we might need. Because, yeah, I didn't actually really grab. Okay, so blue, gunpowder, oil. Paper I might want to grab. I wonder if I should just grab all the ammo that I can uh, come across. Because we're going to need, especially like armor piercing rounds for our guns, but for the turrets, they also need their own ammo as well. We do need to start focusing on making steel ammo, but for that I'm actually going to have to go mining again. Because we need iron to be able to make the steel ammo. Batter up, ratchet, we don't have those yet, cool. They, they're supposed to be very, very little that we don't know yet. We're supposed to know or have most of the stuff already, I feel. 
Pancakes, golf cart, that's 13,000. I think we don't have a golf cart, but we don't need it. Even though I do want one of each vehicle, I think it's going to be a waste of cash just getting that right now, just because I want it. So yeah, I wonder if I shouldn't quickly go to the desert biome as well. Because this dude didn't have any mechanical parts, and I need mechanical parts. There was nothing over here, right? He has a full charger, but we had the we have the charger, actually. It was really slow. Rather, the tail spin on the thing was really bad. Okay, let's quickly go to the wasteland, or oh, not wasteland, to the desert trader as well. And then just see if he doesn't have some mechanical parts for us. And the nice thing is, while we're driving around like this, the mechanical parts that we do have at the base, or crafting at the base, are finishing up. So hopefully when we come back from that trader, we'll actually have the amount we need to make all the mods we need. And I think the turret should be done by then as well. That's awesome. Where do you think you're going? Bye-bye. Everything's for sale. I thought he had something above his head just now. Like what was that? Okay, so I stopped at the vending machine. Oh, we already still have some left. I stopped at the vending machine on the way here to buy more explosives and stuff. Here, Hello. Nerves, <laughs> yeah, I bought more, more explosives and then also more sugar butts in case we need it. But I just realized we don't need it. Okay, we can still read those. Please have mechanical parts. I really, really, really need mechanical parts right now. I need the class books. Okay, I'm going to buy the buggy. I lost my buggy. I missed my buggy. Uh, Well... The only thing is, oh yeah, with a buggy, when you hit a zombie, you lose 20 HP on the vehicle, more or less. I just tested with a Humvee. They're a wandering ward. I just I tested with a Humvee and you lose... How much was it? No, let the door hit you on your I think way I lost out. 7 or 8 HP with a Humvee. Okay, uh, I want to make sure we get out of here before more zombies show up right now. Um, so yeah, uh, the moral of the story, don't hit zombies with your vehicle. <laughs> no mechanical, oh, springs, nice. And concrete, we can make some more blocks. I've got a bad Need mechanical parts, this. but these guys just have tech trash and stuff. Imagine at a stage there's only going to be tech trash and you just have to make yours, uh, your own always. You can't buy it, you can't uh, loot it, you can't wrench for it. Because you can still get a little bit of, um... Hello. You can still get a little... Mechanical parts and electrical parts by scrapping some stuff or wrenching some stuff, but you're not supposed to. That's going to be fixed uh, soon, I think, that, because uh, there was just an oversight of what items might still have some in. So imagine at a stage you can only find or get uh, tech trash and you have to make your own. I mean, that would add another little bit of difficulty to the game as well, because it's so easy to just go to the trader and buy all the parts you need. So if you have to focus on getting self-efficient, self-sustaining, whatever, but that might actually add another layer to the game. I'm definitely going to have to fill in the ground over here as soon as possible because now even this vehicle over here gets stuck on these points. You can make dirt and just refill it. I should probably make that actually. If I can make like 50 dirt just quickly with some clay because I, I can't afford to always go around that every time I come over here. So we do that. Dirt, how much? 47. Yeah, let's just make 47. That's fine. Buggy. Now we have a replacement for the one that exploded at least. Um... Yeah, mechanical parts. Unfortunately, we couldn't buy any, but with these, we should at least be able to make a few. Wait, why is this one... Oh, this one doesn't have a... No, it does. Why is it so much slower? These haven't crafted as much as these over here for some reason. When I grabbed through the first side of here, this first one didn't have um, enough. Okay, anyways, uh, let's see. NCID, we can make one over there. This time we're going to have enough of everything. Uh, let's just do that. One over here, just do this. So we can make three or four. Oh uh, no, we ran out of duct tape. So yeah, we can make three or four. I'll uh, just make three. I need some du more duct tape over here. Ooh, okay, yeah. Uh, this is bad. So we're going to need way, way more duct tape. We do have more water that I can actually make into... I think we have everything on us. We can make this into glue as well. I should probably, because I'm going to have to make myself some more... Uh, I keep interrupting myself, my train of thought. <laughs> I'm going to have to make myself some other mods and stuff as well, so I'm going to need these, unfortunately. Wait, that's... Oh yeah, we can actually make 17 of this one. Now, how many can I make of here? 18, okay, cool. But yeah, um, let's see how far these are. Yeah, I don't want to smelt in the... or use the rest of these over here until we see what we really need. We have way too much clay in these, so we can actually put way more iron in there as well. Okay, these turrets should be done. We we'll probably just do a little bit of inventory management over here because at the moment it's a little bit messy. 
do that, do that, craft that. We ran out of duct tape again. We can make one more. So we can make a fourth at least. I needed five, right? At the moment, my shotgun's fine. At least if the turrets are stopping the zombies from coming for us, that's fine. I do need to see if I can't make a rod and spring for each. I don't know if... I should probably see if it doesn't go on a turret or, or goes on a turret or not. If I do this, does it want to go on ya? Yes. So if we have the full auto and a rod and spring on each of these. So I need three rod and springs. How much does it take to make rod? Please don't tell me it takes springs to make a rod and spring. It does. Okay. Um, I need three. How much springs do I have over here? Nice. I'm running out of resources again, like crazy. And if I make these, I won't be able to make the fourth, or the fifth, um... Wait, I'm making four already over here, right? Yeah. So I just need, and I want to make a uh, fifth, but at the moment I'll much rather make uh, three rotten springs from my turrets than anything else. Let's just see how many mods can they hold before I decide to make mods that can't even fit on them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so there's only one more mod slot on there than usual. So if I go, let's just, I'm going to have to swap my inventory anyways. Let's do that. So it's advanced, advanced. Then it's the drum mag, full auto, and this one. Or technically, this is also, yeah, let's, let's just keep it like this. So we can put one more rod and spring over here. Or the shocker. See, that's the thing right now. We can't put the rod and spring and the shocker because there's not enough space. Perhaps if you make a level 9 or something. So I just saved myself a lot of time because I would have made that just now and... There wouldn't have been enough space on these turrets. Okay. Let's just see if all of them have exactly the same amount. Yeah, they should have the same amount of slots. Now, that one's slightly better, rounds per minute better. Okay, all of these are more or less the same. Like 0, .0 difference and a little bit of 4 difference with the magazine size. But all three of them are more relatively the same. So I don't have to worry too much about the mods and stuff. Um, I want to do this to make sure all the turrets have everything. Ooh, ooh, I just realized we don't have enough... Now, I think we might actually have another drum mag in the box. I'll need to check. So, we need another shredder mod. Let me just see if we have these. No, we don't. Okay. Um, We do have another full auto. That's awesome. Drum mag. Yes, we have another one. I need to make myself an armor shredder. So, armor... Oops. Armor shredder. Oh, that's still locked in the modifiers crafting. Okay, but... Oh, this one has it on. Perhaps if I put... No, but I need this on this one. If I can put the fire one on this one, and then perhaps the shock one on this. No. I can't put the fire and the shock one. So one of them is not going to have full armor breaking capabilities right now. But that's fine. At least for now, that's fine. I'm almost close to leveling up. We have our... Yeah, I wonder if I shouldn't, instead of going for sectoral T and advanced, I should, perhaps, I should perhaps go for the advanced. But modifiers crafting over here, or oh, they're maxed. Damn it, it's going to be over here, isn't it? Advanced Wood Splitter, Advanced Bunker Buster, Grave Digger. Oh, Armor Shredder mods on the very last one, so we can't. Do I have perhaps another weapon? See, during Horde Night, we might not want to use the shotgun. So if I can use this one's Armor Shredder, and then just before Horde Night, swap this one's mods with this one's mod, that's fine as well. Yeah, let's do that. So we're going to go modify, we'll take you out for now. So my turrets are at least nice and powerful. And then before Horde Night, I'll just make sure you have all this one's mods on. That's going to make some sense. Okay. So, I need to grab this. Shocker. Shocker. Um, the Rod and Spring would make sure that they're nice and fast. But for now, at least if we can have this going, that'd be awesome. Let me see. Modify. You don't have enough space. If I can make, just, if I can make the shotgun better. Do I want the one that can make sure... Okay, this is increases the fire rate, so it shoots faster. Silence, I want to keep on because, I mean, I love the fact that it actually silences the gun. Um, damn it. The range gets lower, but the, the, everything else actually... Look at that. The damage and the um, fires, the shots per minute. Wait. No, it's just the damage that actually... What if I shouldn't take this one? How, how loud is this without it? Uh, yeah, why not? We're going to call more streamers while we're looting and stuff, but if I can actually put the shocker mod on there. Oh, no, wait. I can put the fire mod on there. I want to on this one, see if I can't put the shocker mod on. I need another advanced blessed metal as well. I just realized. Okay, cool. So we'll take... I don't know if you can actually have fire and the shocker. Oh, you can. 
Oh, you can. That has a chance of setting them light, and this is a chance of electricity. You can't, just can't have the burning oil mod and the NICD. I wonder. Wait, 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 wait. Before I say something is a certain way, let's just test. If I'm not mistaken, you can't have both these on. Uh, where did I put that just now? Nope. I think this only goes on weapons. It said, no, it can go on anything, but because this is on there... Oh, but it doesn't go on the sword at all. Anyways, okay, cool. Anyways, we can set them alight, and we can shock them now with a sword. That's awesome. I need to make the advanced ergonomic grip for this one. And then these can now go on these turrets over here, and then we can actually finally have three turrets on us. So instead of having the Molotovs on us, because the Molotovs barely do any damage at this stage. Instead of having Molotovs on us, we're going to have these turrets on us. Three nice turrets over here, and then this over there. And that should do so much damage to the zombies. Um... But I wonder, should I have the cubes on me as well? I could perhaps put the impact driver upstairs, move everything one over so I can have some blocks as well. We need to be able to stack up and away from any zombies that attack us. So this shotgun... Um, let's just put the silence on. I could set zombies alight with this, but at the moment I think we're already doing way more damage with this. I want to have it silenced so that we don't have too many screamers um, coming and bothering us as well. Okay, let me just do a little bit of inventory management, see what I can do. Um... We don't have to make the ro uh, rolling springs anymore, so I can actually make a shocker for this one as well. What do I need for- oh, I can. Nice. Yes, 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 yes. So if I can put down my shotgun, then I'll take the either the rolling spring off. Although, if I, t if I put, uh, put this on, then there's a- oh, why did I do that just now? If I put this on, it's going to shock zombies and a shocking effect to weapons. So it's going to shock zombies so I don't have to fire as fast, and we can have the three turrets. So I don't need the rolling spring on that one. Nice. I'm just going to do a little bit of inventory management over here, and I'll catch you guys back as soon as this is done. Okay, so all three turrets are reloaded. We could put these over here for upgrades. Um, miscellaneous. All that away. These benches behind me just finished, so I just want to put these away quickly. One, two, three, four, five, six we can lock. As funny, these boxes are at least half. <laughs> half to go to the tray, they're only halves, so but still, half is half. And at least there's now a little bit more space to get stuff done over here. We need to make sure we sell these as soon as possible as well. Uh, but I really want to repair them before we do so we can get the most out. Okay, these all... Oh, you didn't finish before, did you? Okay, cool. These all have 377, 382, and 390. Nice. So, and also I put in... That's for my shotgun. Some concrete in over here with, a, uh, with some of the mix we had. And then there should be more resources up here to use at the tray or at the base. Ooh, blue. Sometimes I forget I do stuff. I put the glue in there for a reason, but I never used it, so I was like, oh, okay. okay. These are all empty. What is this crafting? That's still a lot of time. So we can still go and decide what we need. I think we're going to need steel next. But I do want to make sure as much stuff as possible is um, high-quality metal, so we don't have to worry later. Oh, where did I put... I had a ton of cement and stuff just now, but where did I put it? Crap. I'm gonna have to go through. Oh, yeah, over here. With my Horde Knight stuff. We should have some steel on us for repairs for the steel door. No, but there's no steel doors this time, so we can use all the steel. Um, We might actually need some steel on us. Just to be able to repair a little bit and then make uh, make that block. If they break it, we need to make the block high quality metal again. Uh, We are gonna need high quality metal for repairs. Let's give 50 over there for now. But then again, the blade traps also require high, high quality metal. So I wonder if I shouldn't make that. At least like 100 or 80 or something. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Boom. I just realized, guys, we don't have armor piercing rounds. So this gun's going to have to rely on this. But luckily, if it has all of these mods on, that shouldn't be a problem. It has the um, drum magazine. I wonder if this can also hold a drum mag. But there's no space at the moment anyways. Okay, so, modify. I don't care about the speed at which you shoot as long as you shock zombies. Um, this one, do you have a rotten spring? No. Okay. So, during a horde night, we might... See, this one needs to fire as much as possible. Now, you know what? I'm just going to put the rotten spring away for now. We might be able to put it on this one. But for now, we just want to get it out of the way so we know what we're working with. We need to go upgrade and need to put this away. So, we can do a little bit of base upgrades and stuff. Um... Yeah, let's put you in there. I should probably also keep some concrete for myself for repairs that might need getting done. Okay, let me just do this. 
Uh, stop that. I want to have some on me because there might be some blocks damaged. And then we're going to need it. Let me do that. We do that. This goes back in. So we use these and we use these to quickly see if we can't do a little bit more to the base. Um, I wonder if I shouldn't just put the stairs in myself. You guys saw how I did these stairs over here. So I wonder if I shouldn't off camera just do those stairs. Um, I should probably also just go and dig out where the stairs are going to be. And then that's proper. We don't have to worry about zombies digging. But there's so much steel that needs to be put in there that uh, I don't know if we're going to have enough. We might just want to do the one side. Because all the, the whole staircase, basically, um, except for like the outer two layers. No, let's just make the outer two layers steel. The rest concrete. Otherwise, we're going to waste all the steel. I need to still go and make the floor over there steel as well. And the floor around the staircase that needs to be over here. But now, guys, we finally actually have a shotgun with an NICD mod. How long have I been waiting for this? We have advanced rad remover, advanced blessed metal. The advanced blessed metal does 200% damage. These over here are awesome. So now finally our turrets are going to be epic. Our shotgun is going to do way more damage. And during Horde Night, this is going to be on our M60. So our M60 is going to be doing more damage. I think while I'm upgrading and building over here, we should level up. So what I'm going to do is with that point that I get from that, we're going to go for advanced. And then... I wonder if I shouldn't go for quicker crafting. I should have gone for this a while ago. This should be maxed. Although that was stuck and I think level 16 anyways. So one point there, one point there, then I'll be able to craft stuff faster, make stuff faster. Especially when it comes to the resources over here. Stuff crafting, I can cancel them, put them back in, and it's going to be even faster. But yeah, I'm just going to do that off camera. So if you guys like this episode, please like, share with your friends. Comments, tips, and feedback, leave it down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time for some more Apocalypse Now. Fun! Once again, a huge thank you to all my members and patrons for your support. To join them in supporting the channel, please click the join button or the Patreon link in the description down below.